Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 Mathematics. Today we will discuss about the question number 25, 44 and 58 which is related to the numerical analysis which was asked in the GATE 2022 Mathematics. We will describe all these questions with the help of the very shortcut tricks in this lecture. You can follow the, my previous lectures on the GATE 2022 examination on my playlist and the channel name Dr. Harishkar where you can find the linear algebra, differential equation, LPP and many more related to the GATE 2021 previous year as well as for this year. So let's start with this first question which is related to the system A x is B and your target is to check about the Jacobi and the Gauss Seidel are there. So whether it's a convergent or not. So I will tell you firstly what is that convergent. When this method Jacobi or the Gauss Seidel will converge that is when this Jacobi or the Gauss Seidel method will converge. This will converge when your matrix, when your this matrix A is diagonal dominant. Once you prove that it's a diagonal dominant, then it will converge for any vector, for any initial vector R. Then the question arises is how you can check whether this matrix A is a diagonal dominant or not. Look about the first row, take the diagonal length twist if this the absolute value of this diagonal entry is greater than of the absolute value of the sum of the others are there it is true same for the second row what is the diagonal entry is 4 if it is greater than of this sum of the others it is also satisfied 1 and look what the next one is that is my 3 which is also greater than of the 2 plus 0 what is the meaning of that it means this matrix A is my diagonal dominant once it's a diagonal dominant, then the Jacobi method as well as the gauss seidel method converts for any initial vectors. So it means B and C both are the correct answers. Once the Jacobi method will converge, then your target is to find the spectral radius. What is the spectral radius? Is the largest eigenvalue of the largest eigenvalues of the iterative matrix. Now here this is the Jacobi matrix. So what is the iterative matrix of the Jacobi? d inverse l plus u now you can see from the part b the jacobi method converts for any initial vector it means the spectral radius should be less than of this one p. so if i call this as say h then we can say the spectral radius of this h must be less than of the one because the jacobi method converts so it means the d option is also correct now how you can find the d inverse what is that d is the diagonal increase that is a 3 4 3 rest all are 0 so what is the inverse of this this is 1 by 3 0 0 it's 1 by 4 0 0 it's a 1 by 3 are uh, here what is the l plus u this is a 0 1 1 you can see apart from the diagonal rest are my l plus u now clearly says that if you multiply them look about the second element the first element is 0 this element is my 1 by 3 what about the others that is a separate now you can see here it's a 1 by 4 but the equative matrix is 1 by 3 it means this is the wrong answer so the correct answers are my b c and d are my correct answers okay look about that so i already told this kind of the example in very in various form whenever there is a question related to the interpolate interpolation of degree 2 or degree 3 or any are there you always consider about the base there is no need to think about this you just consider about the basis what are the degree 2 bases are there 1 x and x scale so first time you can consider the f of x is 1 and then so on so firstly take f of x is my 1 so what will happen if f of x is my 1 what is the derivative is 0 so this equation becomes a 0 minus what is the f of minus 1 it's a plus 1 alpha of 0 is again plus 1 f of 2 is again plus 1 so what is the meaning of that alpha plus beta is my 2 by 3 second we can consider f of x is my x when you take f of x is x so what is that derivative is my 1 at the point 0 is again 1 minus 2 by 3 what is the minus 1 so it will be my minus 1 what is the f of 0 is 0 what is the f of 2 that is my 2 so you can solve them it's a 1 by 3 is my 2 beta so that is this beta will be my 1 by 6 once you know beta is 1 by 6 you can substitute here in the first equation so it will be my 2 by 3 minus 1 by 6 it give you 1 by 2 so therefore alpha is my 1 by 2 beta is my 1 by 6 
what is what is the answer of the one upon alpha beta alpha beta is my 1 by 12 so the right answer of this my problem is 12 that is the answer is d as the correct option rest all are cancelled so remember that there is if if you are unable to find alpha beta then use the third one also there is no need of finding the minus one they are, they are just taking for the confusion side sir always use the basis as a very simple manner if they are asking about the degree three then you can take the basis as one x x square x cube and so okay look about the next one are there so this is the second order range kuta method so we all know that what is the range kuta second order method that's nothing called as the Euler method but if there is slightly change in the Euler method what is the Euler method is if you remember what is the Euler method is y of i plus 1 is y i plus the average of k1 plus k2 but here it is not the average of that so first thing is we have to find the value of the alpha into beta here alpha is this beta is there so whenever you are using the range guta method this alpha and beta must be the same this must be the same now how you can define in journal instead of the k1 plus k2 here is 1 by 4 k1 and 3 by 4 k2 make sure the sum of them will be a 1 in this case also it's a half and half but what is the journal form of this so i will tell you the journal form is k1 1 minus 2 alpha and k2 is because the sum will be 1 so it must be of 1 by 12 that's a simple form are there. now you can compare them what will happen if firstly i found that alpha is equal to beta now if you compare them coefficient of the k2 1 by 2 alpha is nothing but my 3 by 4 so what is my alpha alpha will be my 2 by 3 that's over so once alpha is 2 by 3 beta is also 2 by 3 so what is the alpha of beta that's my 4 by 9 is the right answer you can convert them into the two decimal places that is the. so that's a very very simple shortcut trick you should remember that clearly says that if you consider alpha is my 1 if alpha is my 1 what is the meaning of that it is nothing but my half and half it converts to the Euler method but in general it this is the uh, standard form of this Euler method. so you should remember this is a very simple and the shortcut tricks whenever they are asking in other competition examination so this is the numerical methods questions are there you can find we will see about the linear algebra questions in the next class till then you can simply find this differential equation as well as the vector calculus all my previous year papers in my playlist CSR net and the channel name Dr. Hishkar where you can find the previous videos. I hope you can like, share and comment this video with your friends. Till then, best of luck students. Happy learning.